Hello everyone, welcome to the BlueCube channel. In continuation of the Adobe Animate tutorials, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use the camera tool. You'll learn how to zoom in on the scene, create movement, apply rotation, set up parenting, or linking, and several other features, all of which I will explain step by step. Just don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified when new videos are released. As you can see, in my document I've brought in a scene from the asset panel, which I explained in a previous lesson. I've also placed a background and a dog character here. Right now I have two layers, but I also want to bring in the character we designed in the previous lesson into the scene. I right-click on the character layer and choose Copy Layer. Then I go into my new document, right-click on one of the layers, and select Paste Layers. When I do this, the software shows a message saying that some library items already exist and asks whether I want to replace them or import them as duplicates. I choose the first option and click OK. This way, the character gets imported into the scene. After the character is imported, I hold down the Shift key to scale it up a little and place it in the right spot. I can also make small adjustments to it using the selection tool. Notice that the layer I imported came along with all the bones and settings that we had already created for the character. Now, to add a camera to the scene, I click on the three dots next to the toolbar. Because the camera tool may not be displayed by default. From this menu I select the camera tool and drag and drop it into the toolbar. As soon as I select it, a camera layer is created and placed above all the other layers. I recommend always keeping the camera layer at the very top. When the camera layer is created, a new slider also appears at the top of the timeline with two icons. The first icon is for zooming the camera, and the second is for rotating the camera. To create camera movement, I go to frame 30 and hold down the left mouse button so the frames turn blue. Then I choose Insert Keyframe to create keyframes for all layers. Next, I right-click on the camera layer and select Create Classic Tween. This way, the camera layer in the timeline turns purple. Now I go back to frame 1. Remember, in the final output, only the part inside the blue rectangle is visible. Anything outside the camera frame won't be shown in the render. On frame 1, I zoom in a little. But in the last frame I haven't made any changes. So in frame 1, I increase the camera zoom. You'll see that the character also moves together with the camera zoom. To fix this issue, I press Ctrl plus Z to return the camera to its previous state. Next to the layers, there are two small camera icons. By clicking on these icons, I can disable them. At the end of the video, I'll explain their purpose to you. When we turn off the camera icons and zoom again, now you can see that the camera zooms without any problem. Notice that my camera frame is positioned here. Now I hold down the left mouse button and drag to the left. This way, the camera also moves to the left. Then I zoom in a little more. So what happens now? At frame 1 I zoomed in, but since we didn't make any changes in the last keyframe, you can see that the further I drag the slider forward, the zoom of the camera decreases. In fact, the zoom level goes down. I press play, did you see? At the beginning the camera was zoomed in. And by the end the camera returned to its original position. If I want to test just this part, I can use the shortcut Control plus Enter. Or go to the Control menu and select Test. Both methods work the same way. Now I'm back at frame 1 again. This time, instead of zoom, I select the rotation option. When I change the rotation value, you can see that the camera rotates. Now, if I move the slider forward, you'll see that at the start the camera is rotated. And by the end it returns to its original state. I press play. Aside from these two options, zoom and rotation, in the Properties panel we can also move the camera along the X and Y axes. 
Just remember that the camera layer must be selected. You can do this either through the camera slider or by entering numerical values in the properties panel. If we want the camera to return to its initial state, we can use the reset button. For example, if we reset the zoom, the magnification will return to 100%. If we reset the rotation, the angle goes back to zero. This way, we can very quickly return everything to the default settings. I go to the last frame and zoom in a little again. In this same panel, we can also use color effects. For example, I select the brightness option so that the image becomes darker or brighter at the end. At the beginning, the camera is in its normal state, and as the animation continues, the scene gradually gets darker, or we can make it brighter instead. You can try out all of these effects yourself. Or we can set the value back to zero so everything returns to normal. Also, in the same section we can use alpha or other color modes. In addition to these, in the filters section we can add effects such as blur to the camera. For example, in the last frame, if we activate the camera's blur filter, the higher the value, the more the scene gradually becomes blurry. As a result, the image is clear at first but becomes blurred at the end. I press Ctrl plus Enter to see a preview. Now, I'm in the last frame. I select the camera tool panel and delete the blur effect. Then I reset the first and last frames so that everything goes back to its original state. Once again, in the last frame I zoom in slightly on the character's face. You can see that the camera frame is now positioned here. Now I want to create a short pause for the camera. To do this, I select frame 45 of all the layers and choose insert frame. This way, frames are added. On frame 45, which belongs to the camera layer, I click and create a keyframe so the camera remains still for a few moments. This way, from frame 30 to 45, the camera stays still. Now I move to frame 75, insert frames again so they're created, and add another keyframe for the camera layer. At keyframe 75, I want the camera frame to be positioned on the dog. Make sure the camera frame doesn't move outside the scene. I right click on one of the frames we created and choose Create Classic Tween. You can also right click directly on the timeline and select Create Classic Tween there. So now, if I press play, at the beginning the camera moves, then it stops, and then it moves again onto this dog character. I press Ctrl plus Enter so you can see the preview. With this method, the camera first zooms in, stays still for a short time, and then moves onto the dog. Sometimes we may want the camera to jump suddenly, without a smooth motion, to another point. To do this, I add another keyframe, and in this new keyframe I move the camera so it's positioned on the male character. I zoom in a little more. This way, the camera immediately jumps to the new spot, creating a fast cut. I press play. I zoom out a bit in the scene so I can see everything. Another important feature is the attach option. With this tool, we can attach one or more layers to the camera. When we do this, every movement of the camera is also applied to that layer. For example, if I select the dog layer and activate attach, a blue frame appears around the dog character. Now, as the camera moves, the dog moves along with it. This feature is very useful in certain animations. Keep in mind that when a layer is attached, in that same scene you can't turn it on or off. 
To change this, you need to create a new scene. In future lessons, I'll explain how to create new scenes. Finally, a few closing notes. You can first create the camera movement and then animate the character. Or the other way around, animate the character first and then add the camera. Both methods are correct, it depends on your project's needs. Alright, that's the end of this tutorial. If you enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to hit the like button. And subscribe to my channel to watch upcoming tutorials. Until the next video, goodbye for now.